Welcome to the Geospatial Intelligence Podcast. My name is Aybar Sostuna and I'm the founder and CEO of Geospatial Intelligence Institute and Master of Science in Geospatial Intelligence candidate at Johns Hopkins University. Geospatial Intelligence an Emerging Field We'll be talking everything about it. Let's begin. GIS in Computer and Data Science Geospatial applications and data are considered essential sources whenever data transportation takes place for a project. Rich internet applications are advanced web mapping applications that incorporate special data, which in turn helps generate information much faster. The Transportation Environment Land Use Data Enterprise application was developed by the Durham Chapel Hill and Corboro Metropolitan Planning Organization, which is combined with GIS and rich information applications in order to accomplish a specific goal. The Telluid application can transform desktop applications and collect spatial data, allowing information to be accessed from multiple geographical locations. This information can be extremely useful for scientists conducting analysis. Data is retrieved from disparate sources and then incorporated through the use of scripting and mashups. They are then provided on the web in a manner that can be easily used for reporting and conducting analysis. The Telluid application enables the demonstration of combinations based on spatial data, scripting, programming, web, and server technology with the goal of improving data availability and usage for scientists, transportation planners, and information. GIS is considered a computer system that is very important to capture, store, check, and display data related to Earth's surface and positions. GIS, when utilized in computer programming, can provide individuals with the ability to solve cryptic information by replacing it with authentic information retrieved through geospatial data. It also provides crucial assistance to scientists and people related to several fields to better understand special patterns and relationships. In addition, GIS technology is also the most substantial part of the spatial data infrastructure. The White House defines it as the technology, policies, standards, human resources, and related activities necessary to acquire, process, distribute, use, maintain, and preserve spatial data. GIS applications, when incorporated into further computer programs, include both software and hardware systems, with their applications being based on cartographic data, digital data, spreadsheet data, and photographic data. GIS technology enables information to be incorporated into a single map. It makes use of location as a key index variable to find relevancy between the data which appears to be irrelevant. GIS in Disaster Risk Management It is essential to use advanced tools, such as the Geographic Information System, to make effective decisions in disaster management. GIS can be utilized for mapping out a zone that is more prone to natural disasters and catastrophes. These zones are then mapped out so that environmental scientists can utilize them to carry out evacuations in the mapped areas before natural disasters strike them. GIS and RS are considered to be very effective in mitigating population and other mitigation strategies. 
When real-time geographic data is retrieved, it helps improve resource allocation. Furthermore, GIS applications are essential when disaster risks and human adaptations to hazards are modeled. It provides a decision-making support system, resulting in effective disaster management. If you would like to have a variety of sources, feel free to follow geospecialintelligenceinstitute.org. That is geospecialintelligenceinstitute.org. My name is Aybars Öztunar and this is the Geospecial Intelligence Podcast. Thank you.